Hey there, welcome back. If you can sleep, I'll be there in your dreams. I'll be there in your dreams if you can. Hey guys, welcome back, and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah, and I'm so glad that you're here. If you're wanting to know a little bit more about me or just find me on other different places and platforms, um, check in the description box down below, and that's where you can find uh, my other socials like TikTok and Instagram. And I'd love it if you came over there and followed me and we hung out and talked. That's a great place to find me, and I'm really active, especially on Instagram, and I'd love to hang out with you over there. Um, and thanks so much for stopping by. So today's video is going to be a what I got my six-year-old for her sixth birthday or what I got my daughter for her sixth birthday. If you have never seen me before or if you've forgotten, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she turned eight in November and my youngest is Eleanor and she's going to turn six in a few days. Um, and the time has just flown with both of them. Um, it's a tale as old as time, isn't it? How time just continues to fly faster and faster as each year they get older and older. I feel like I'm gripping on sand to try to like keep them my little babies but um, I'm so proud of them and as they get older and older I'm just so impressed by the little kids and amazing little people that they are. Eleanor is so funny and smart and thought thoughtful and kind and such a great friend and sister and she's such a sensitive little heart and little spirit and she thinks she's moved by music and art and movies and um, she loves to play and is so creative and just marches to her own little drum and likes what she likes and is so authentically herself and I just, I love that about her and I'm so proud of her and so, um, these are collections of gifts that I thought that she would enjoy. Um, I have a ton of other gift guides here on my channel. I will try to make sure that the playlist is linked below the little card um, up here somewhere so you guys can check that out. Um, I have been doing not only their birthday gift guides for a number of years now, but I have a ton of other gift guides here on my channel. Lots of also Easter basket gift guides. So if you're looking to start uh, prepping for Easter baskets, definitely check that one out. And that one will be coming soon um, for you guys as well as their Easter baskets this year. I've done it for many years now and I have lots of different ideas, but I think that it's really fun to do for both my girls because their birthdays actually fall like right Right before a big gift giving holiday so olives is right before Christmas and Eleanor's is right before Easter so I think a lot of these ideas are great for birthdays and other gift giving holidays but they're also really a good idea for Easter baskets so if you're looking for some fun easy ideas here you go as usual I will have everything linked below for you to shop so you can just shop easily if you are interested in any of these items and um, yeah, let's just get started. I normally try to do their birthday gift guides in um, each year I try to do like kind of get a, like a well-rounded kind of theme going um, and typically try to focus on like a hobby or an interest or a niche that they're really in at that time rather than just like a bunch of random stuff. Typically for Christmas we just go buck wild and it's like whatever gifts are interested in and kind of things like that and we make lists. But for their birthdays I try to really focus on like a theme or an interest or a hobby or a niche or what have you um, to kind of, you know, I don't know, focus on something like that um, to kind of like help them grow stronger in their hobbies or their creativity and so for ollie's this year her kind of theme-ish um thing was she was super and she still is into like kawaii style and sanrio hello kitty um and that just like whole an anime world and all of that stuff so i got a lot of different themed uh gifts kind of surrounding that and this year for eleanor is um definitely there's a theme and it's a specific like world universe characters game that i will share with you um in just a little bit but yeah i it's <laughs> if you know you know but um i'm excited for her because i know she's gonna freak out so um the first couple of like random things that don't quite fit in the theme um, I think I'll just go ahead and share with you. So the first thing is this. These are little finger skateboards. So if you guys remember Tech Deck, um, that was like a really popular brand when we were kids. I feel like that was like the little mini finger skateboards that they have. Now Hot Wheels has some that they actually have little shoes that you could wear. You put your fingers in and then you can ride the skateboard with the shoes on. Um, but Eleanor's been really interested in the little mini skateboards because they have like a treasure chest or like a little sh a store at her school um, where she can earn uh, her falcon bucks or little, um, you know, awards, dollars to go spend and she's been wanting to get some of these little skateboards but they're always like taken by the other kids by the time she gets her turn and so I thought it'd be just like a fun idea to get her a pack. I looked at it in the tech deck ones, those things are so expensive. 
expensive for just like a couple of skateboards. I just wasn't having it. Um, maybe it looked cheaper at Walmart. I ended up only looking on Amazon, but I did find these when I was looking for them on Amazon and they're like a pack of like 12 or so, I think. Um, and they're really great quality. They had a ton of great reviews, but I just thought they were so cute. I really liked the little patterns um, and designs on the bottom of the skateboards. Like this one I just think is so cute. And they're really nice quality. They feel just like the, you know, the tech decks when I was a kid. They're like metal little um, actual like, what do we want to call those? Joints or something to hold the wheels. I don't know. They feel like they're really nice quality. They feel just like the tech deck ones. So until we kind of see where she is in this little universe of <laughs> finger skateboards and what she likes about them and stuff, um, we're just going to go with these because I think they're really cute. I do believe this brand also had ramps and um, little, you know, areas like little skate parks you can uh, get and create and set up but until we kind of know how she likes to play with these and stuff i thought we just would start with the skateboards but there's a ton in here some thing ones she can share with her sister or her friends i think these are a really great option for easter though these would be perfect if you have some like jumbo eggs and you can fit them in the little eggs it'd also be great for just to place them in easter baskets there's so many cute different designs that i feel like they work they work perfect for boys and girls and everyone in between um and i just think that they're really cute and they were pretty inexpensive so i will have of course these linked below but i thought these were really adorable so that's her first kind of random gift um another thing we always try to do is either get a board game um an educational item an act an, or an activity or um a book or a book series um eleanor is obsessed with board games and we've been really trying to branch out and add more to our collection we've it's growing and growing and growing and we have so much fun playing board games together and this is one that she's been wanting for a while now this is pictionary she plays a lot of these like drawing games on um her ipad on her ipad on roblox oh my gosh on her ipad on roblox um and her and her sister do and so she has a lot of fun drawing and so um this is something that she has seen and wanted to ask for so i do believe that my mom or brother is giving her this i can't remember who um but yes uh she asked for this and so this is one of her gifts as well um i remember playing this as a kid but it's like very hazy for me and i can't remember what the rules are but i do remember there being teams but i don't remember like a full on board um i don't know like, it's all pretty hazy in my mind but i'm excited to play it so here's a good old fashioned pictionary and then this is actually a gift that my husband is giving her she got one of these like squishy um fidget balls she's obsessed with fidget she really likes sensory toys um and she got one of them that is like the name brand ones that i see all the time at like walmart and target and stuff i can't remember what the brand is um but she got one for valentine's day from one of her uh, classmates and she loved it but then it broke and like the ooze and stuff got everywhere and she was like heartbroken because she tried to be really careful with it and it still broke and she was so sad about it well my husband was like we gotta get her a new set and i was like but they're probably all gonna break and i looked on reviews and again it's like some of them were like they lasted great the other ones like they didn't last very long so he was like it's okay it's okay let's just try it again so we'll see how it goes but um he wanted to get her a whole set of them so hopefully if one pops she'll have more to use but it's like a nice fun bright rainbow set but they're literally just like squishy balls that feel like they have like i don't even know what to describe what they feel like they have inside of them because it's not like a like a squishy plush like it would be foamy it's not quite like a sand it's kind of like a like a, i feel like it's like a dough almost i don't know anyway um they have tons of them on Amazon, and but they all feel like they're all pretty much the same thing. So we'll see how long these last, hopefully for a good chunk of time, but he was adamant about giving her this. So this is <laughs> his special gift to her. Um, I mean, we all give her these gifts, but this is a special one from her dad to her. Um, speaking of gifts from family members, this little set is from her sister. So Eleanor, if you guys watched my um, Christmas gift guides for her and my Valentine's Day gift guides, um, I talked about how much she loves press-on nails. She's obsessed with press-on nails. 
Um, that's all she wants to do. She constantly wants to have a manicure. She does a really good job with taking care of them and trying to keep them on as long as possible. Um, and Ollie decided that for her, for her gift that she wanted to give Eleanor was some press on nails. So um, she got her two packs of these uh, impress mini um, kits. So we have had a couple of these ones before. We really like them. Um, and they're inexpensive and you can get them at Walmart and Target and Amazon. We've been really happy with them. Um, these are on two, in two different sets. I'm trying to figure out what they're what cut. This one is called Super Duper, but it's like, it looks like fun, like melty ice cream and like sprinkles. And then this one is called Dreamland and it's like pastel rainbows and unicorns. And it's really, really pretty. I can't tell if you can see any of this. Hopefully you can. Um, but both of these we got at Target. And I, they were like 3 $4. They weren't very expensive. And then um, she's been wanting to have longer ones, though. Which we've talked about may not be the best when because she wears them to school. <laughs> may not be the best when she has to do stuff at school. But since it's spring break, I feel like this will be fun for her to have during spring break. So um, these are the Fantasy Dreams. These were also from Walmart. Um, and these were like little unicorn ones with rainbows and stuff and all of pick these out these look quite large for her little nail beds like in comparison these fit really really well on kids nails versus these ones these are what i remember as like a kid having these just ridiculous like oversized nails um but these are a bit more like you know clicky clacky which is what i think she's looking for she loves to like tap on everything after she gets her nails on so these um are from olive but perfect for easter baskets as far as kind of like a educational hobby slash book um she asked for this this is a create this book by mariah elizabeth if you don't know who mariah elizabeth is she's a youtuber and she does like art related content i think she also has like an app out now um and yeah she's 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 a cutie um and she's fun and the girls love her specifically eleanor and so um she asked her asked for some merch or the book to create with um and things just all things mariah elizabeth so um i found this uh on amazon i think this was around 12 dollars. it's actually pretty nice i didn't i thought it would be a little bit um of a bit more of like a cheaper quality um but it's really nice so basically it's just like a a big old coloring book slash art book and they have different prompts um on each page on what to do so this one says create a sheer drawing start a drawing on this page and have a friend finish it um and then there's ones that you can like cut and glue with create nonsensical creatures um create your least favorite make this page your least favorite uh create a page of emotion create stencils like all different types of things like watercolor ones um just like a bunch of different prompts and options and i just think this will really cute perfect to help boost your creativity and just get into more of different medias and stuff when um creating her art and things like that so i think this is really fun um i'm actually really surprised olive hasn't asked for this yet because this is definitely a bali's alley so we'll see if she ends up like kind of being like you know when eleanor's using this but i got this up off of amazon I did get her this. She's obsessed with zombies. They both are. They love all three zombies movies. She was Addison two years ago for Halloween and they still love it. And I just thought this was such a cute little fun like play dress. So it's Addison's little um, Seabrook uniform during their senior year. It has these little cold shoulders. And then I loved the cutouts that it had um, on the back with like a little jumbo shrimp. Um, anyway. I just thought it was really cute so this is something she can like sleep in it's really soft and comfortable so if she wants to wear this as a nightie she can she can wear this to school because it's not like a full-on costume it's like a fun little play dress i just thought this was really cute and something that she would like i got this off of amazon they have a ton of different options um but i just thought this was fun it looks pretty big though so i'm actually thinking about um trying to exchange it and maybe get one here in time before her birthday because it looks like to be getting really large it did come with a little sequin bow um which isn't the best quality but um we do have a much better matching <laughs> bow ourselves and then it did come with a set of palms which is kind of fun so um but i mostly just got it for the dress because i really liked it speaking of clothes um if you guys have been watching my channel for a while and watching my gift guides and stuff you would know that Eleanor is a, was obsessed with Toy Story. It was her jam. Like, eat, sleep, eat, and breathe. Is that the expression? Doesn't sound right. But 
Toy Story. She was obsessive. Um, she had cowboy boots that were Toy Story, Jesse themed cowboy boots, and she had regular cowboy boots. She loved them. And recently, um, she tried to fit her little tootsies in them, and they, it just wasn't gonna happen. So she's asked for new cowboy boots. Um, I actually got her a pair off Amazon. These were from the brand Dream Paris. Um, and I just thought these were really, really adorable. Um, I hate how they package them. The box is too small, and so they got bent, and it makes me so sad. Um, but hopefully when she like puts her little foot in there, it can kind of like reshape them a bit. But these are this really pretty like rose gold um, little cowboy boot. I just thought these were really nice. Um, they had really nice reviews on Amazon, um, and I just thought they were so cute. So go with a lot of her clothes, yeah. So these pretty little embroidered cowboy boots. They did have a bunch of other colors, but I just thought these were the cutest um, options for her. It's kind of hard to find cowboy boots. I was kind of surprised for kids that weren't just like, like ah, too much. Like I wanted a little bit more of the subtle or just like a little bit more girly or something. It was a little bit harder to find, but my mom ended up finding these from Target. I didn't even know they had these from Cat and Jack and these are adorable. Like these are incredible. Uh, for the price especially because I paid way more for those ones and these are really nice quality um, little boots so these are a bit taller um, but they're these really pretty dark like chestnutty brown color again with the nice embroidery um, and these zip up on the sides um, these are really 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 nice super pretty these were in the girl section um, she is a size really a 12 but we're gonna go with the 13 because I want her to be able to wear them for a long enough time. So these were from Target, like I said, and they were in a they were a great buy in comparison to those ones. Um, but I really like those too. So I think we're gonna keep both. We're gonna keep both and see how we go. Um, and but I think my mom is gonna be the one gifting her these cowboy boots. Eleanor is obsessed with all things plushy, all things soft, all things squishy, all things cute and fun. Um, and I found these like fun type of pillows on Amazon like last year or so and I'd wanted to get them each one for Christmas but we had already had too much and we were on a budget this year so I didn't but then I decided I'd get her one for her birthday so um, Amazon has a bunch of different ones um, I really liked these ones I just thought this one was so cute it's scented it smells so good I would have loved this as a little girl like this just screams like something that would you get it limited to and we're just like so obsessed with it it smells so good, um, but it's a little gummy bear pillow. So these actually, it completely unzips, but there's the tag in the way, I don't wanna take it off, but it completely unzips, and then there's multiple different colored gummy bears inside. I don't know if they all just smell like this one like sweet cotton candy almost smell, or if they smell individually like different scents because they have like cherry, grape, lime, lemon, orange on the back, so I wonder if they smell differently inside. Um, but it's just a really cute little pillow. It's not super big. It looks a lot bigger online, um, but it's perfect for her. They have a bunch of different designs. So they have one that's like a pack of gum. They have ones that are like little cookies. They have like uh, actual like brand ones like Oreos and Goldfish and Sour Patch Kids. Like they have a ton of different ones. And I just think it's so cute and so fun for like a little girl her age. Um, this is from the brand Ice Cream. So really cute, great quality, definitely a little bit more on the pricier side than I wanted to spend, but I think it's something she's really, really gonna like. So um, again, this is from Amazon. And then this is something my brother got her. Um, actually, I think one of you guys messaged me about this last year or the year before. I can't remember when these came out, but um, you guys had said that you got them for your uh, kiddos. And so, um, but I had, I think, I wanna say it was last Christmas, but now I just can't remember. But I had already, you know, picked up everything I got for them at the time. And so, um, but I totally forgotten about these. And then Corey picked this up for Eleanor and it's a Got To Glow Fairy Finder. Corey's my brother, by the way. Got To Glow Fairy Finder. And it's like this little digital, um, fairy catcher so it's like it looks like a really cute little fun decorated mason jar and inside um there have like little fairies that you um collect and they interact and i guess you can trade them with your friends if another friend has one of these um it's just really cute this came out like i like i said i think last year or the year before or something i can't really quite remember um but yeah i think this will be really fun it's really cute and like springy i think this would be like a really cool uh, Easter present if you wanted to get like more of like a 
a bigger option or just you know what have you like i think this is a really cute um easter option because of like the spring fairy vibe so um really cute this is something that my brother got her so for her birthday this year we have a couple she she wants to have like an eleanor day so it's just the day all about eleanor doing all the things that she would like to do like she gets to pick all of these fun exciting things and it's just a full theme day and then i have a couple of like activities and surprises thrown in there um and one of them she's been asking to do this for like a year and a half now because mariah elizabeth does this and is to paint and decorate squishies so um she wanted to use the ones that she already had but they're she's had them for years and years and they're like about to just kick the bucket um and so i found a pack of blank undecorated squishies on amazon and they come with um some paint but i think we're going to use our own um but you just can you can just paint some squishies so um there's like ice cream a cake a little donut popcorn in here and they also come with um some pack of little stickers for eyes these don't look like they're gonna last for very long on them but it's okay um they're scented they smell nice so i think this will be really fun this is an activity we're gonna do on her birthday so she doesn't know about it yet it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise but i think she's gonna be so excited because she's been begging to do it now for such a long time so this is a birthday activity that we're going to do but it's kind of like a birthday gift and i just wanted to include it um because i like to find like fun activities um that don't cost an arm and a leg and like throw huge huge parties because they're so expensive and i get so stressed out so I like to find fun activities that still like fill up their little cups and make them super happy but aren't crazy expensive. All right, so another kind of a gift item, or gifts item, but it's also part of her um, like birthday to do um, activity kind of thing. We're not actually gonna do it on her actual birthday because I think that day will be too busy. And so I'm gonna wrap all these up and then she can open them up. And then the next day we're gonna do it, but we're going to have a spa themed um, like little activity day, spa day. Um, and so I've got a bunch of different things that we haven't used before that I think will be really, really fun uh, for them. And I'm excited too. I also got a couple things for me. <laughs> so we can have a nice relaxing spa day. But for the first thing I got were these sets of sheet masks. So it's the Let's Fall in Love with Sheet Mask sets. Um, I think that they're like uh, targeted and marketed towards like younger girls. Um, you know, they're not for like anti-aging or like crazy intense things. They're more of just like basic hydrating, nourishing masks. So they come in a big pack um, and they're just cute little fun decorative masks. So this is like green tea refreshing, honey nourishing, not, not like really intense, harsh ingredients, just something that'll be nice and calm and gentle on their sensitive little skin. Um, and they're like full, cute, decorative sheet masks. So I figured that they can pick one that they want to do and we can do it together. I got them these like the little head wraps right here. If you watched my Valentine's Day video, I got them each one of those. So we already have that and they have robes. So I thought it'd be perfect to kind of just like get in our little spa outfits and then do some masks. Um, I'm trying to convince my husband to do it with us too. He actually loves a good mask. So I think it, I think it'll be an easy convincing. Um, anyway, so I got a pack of masks. And then because Eleanor loves to do um, her nails so much, I figured that I would do another kind of nail thing. But I got the Go Glam Nail Salon. So this is something that came out a couple years ago and was like really, really popular. Um, I feel like it was like one of the top like Christmas gifts that year. But they were still a little bit too young. It's actually eight plus. Um, they were still kind of a little bit too young for it and just like weren't really interested in it. Um, so I didn't get it, but I thought it was so cool. And so I thought this is the perfect year for this. I think this is such a cool item. So basically it comes with two nail polishes. I'm not sure if you can use your own nail polish or you have to use these. I'm gonna have to check but you then put your finger underneath this little machine and it like stamps a pattern on for you um and so like some fun like nail designs and it comes with i believe four different little stampers in this set and then they also have a collection and different ones you can buy later if you want to con continue to add to it um but it's actually has like really good reviews like the actual stamping is pretty good i thought it'd be too gimmicky um but apparently not so the only thing they say is not to use the actual like cl clear coat to use a different one because it um, will help them last longer so i'm excited to try this out like i said it had really good reviews i think it'll be really fun you can also use it for not just manicures but also for pedicures too so i got this off of amazon this one's a little bit more of a pricier item um it wasn't crazy expensive or anything but it was 
more expensive than some of the other stuff here but i think it'll be something she really likes and something we all can use and like have a fun time with um like her and her sister and her friends they have play dates and stuff so that's another activity and then we have like um some fun like uh glitter tattoo kits that we've had for a couple years i think would be fun to uh, break back out again because we haven't done that in a while and then um one of my best friends is really into using tinsel in her hair and they have like she likes to have like fairy tinsel in her hair um and i didn't know that it was like heat resistant like you can curl your hair and straighten and wash your hair and everything like i thought that you had to take it out thought it was too much work until i found that it doesn't like it's just like a little extension and so i thought this would be so much fun and you can get these like giant kits for like such an inexpensive price and they last forever because you barely use any of the tinsel so i got this pack and it came with like 12 or something different um packs of tinsel you can't tell but like inside there's like more packs inside each thing of tinsel and so this is going to last us forever i'm gonna do it because i want some fairy hair but i thought this would be so fun for the girls and something that will feel like magical and fun and exciting and something will last so um you basically weave it in their little hair and like have like a little bead um and it like you know you like clamp it down with a little pair of clamps this one um is actually one that you weave and like um tie off but i think i'm going to order just like the clamp and beads to go along with it because i think that'll be easier than just this um but i'm excited so we're going to do this with spa day as well so that's like a kind of like a birthday gift all together but like a fun activity for us to do and i think it's going to be so much fun all right, last but not least, and kind of the overall theme of her birthday this year, um, if you have any little ones in your life, um, or if yourself play Roblox, there is a game called Rainbow Friends that Eleanor is obsessed with. She wants to play it all the time. It's like kind of like a, a scavenger hunt slash like hide and seek type of game, but there's these like little monsters that look like Sesame Street characters, and they try to like, get you while you're trying to escape um and it's you know it's on roblox so it's like a kid friendly game and she is obsessed with it well i had no idea that they had like a bunch of different like shirts and toys and like the whole universe was as big as it was i just thought it was like a random little game on roblox but it's huge and so she asked for roblox or rainbow friends everything so first things first is i got her um this is actually going to go on her cake she wants a rainbow theme birthday party so this will go on her cake but um just a bunch of rainbow friends figures so this comes with a pack of six so we have orange purple pink green blue and red um but they're, they're actually pretty nice they're nice and substantial especially for the price i didn't expect them to be this large i'm ha really happy about that her favorite is blue um but yeah they're these little these little monster dudes and they're not scary or anything they're just like kind of silly looking but um I like a little creepy but you know kid friendly anyway she's obsessed with them so i think this will be really fun because she loves to play with figures still so they keep rolling on her cake and then um she wanted a like shirt of rainbow friends so this is actually something my mom is getting her uh, or is giving her and it's just this little basic black little tee and it just has some of the little monsters on it um again just basic but something cute it's something i think she's really going to like be really excited about and then my mom got her a pair of pjs that were rainbow friends these are like crazy intense chaotic galaxy ones but really fun um again all the little friends on it and then they have matching pants I'm hoping that they have one more PJ day at school. They've been having them nonstop this year. I'm hoping they have another one this year um, before school's over so she can wear her little Rainbow Friends PJs because she talks about how much her friends love Rainbow Friends as well um, at school. I also got her a pack of Rainbow Friends waterproof stickers that I actually think I'm going to give um, or I'm going to put in the pack of what her sister's giving her with the nails, but I can't find them. And I just opened them yesterday, but she also got a pack of waterproof Rainbow Friends stickers. They love to decorate their water bottles. So um, those are for that. And then she can hand some out with her friends at school. And then last but not least, and kind of her bigger gift, these things are stupid expensive, <laughs> but um, one that she's so excited about. And I got her the whole set of the Rainbow Friends plushies. So um, 
again she is obsessed with plushies and you should see her bed it's insane um but this is something that she really wanted so i was like you know what you didn't ask for much kid this is what you get i i know it's gonna make her so happy so we have green we have orange he's terrifying but he also kind of looks like my mom's miniature pincher <laughs> um purple red who's like the mastermind behind everything that's why he's wearing his suit and then blue who happens to be my favorite um and these were like airtight like vacuum packs so i'm trying to fluff them up before they give it to her because he's still a little squished um but they're pretty nice quality for the especially for the price i was a little worried some of them had a lot cheaper ones on amazon but they would say the quality was really bad these had the best reviews but i think these were around like 50 something dollars for all of these which i guess at the end of the day for you know all five it's not bad it just seems like a ton of money but i know that she is going to love them and be so happy with them so that is her bigger um bigger gift um and i think i'm gonna save that for last for her to open up because i think she's gonna love it the last thing which i haven't gotten to purchase yet i have to go get it tomorrow is a roblox gift card that's the other thing that she has been begging for she has now gotten like two of them with each holiday that's passed and she just freaking loves them she uses them and saves her robux and gets things that she really wants and things like that so we're going to get her probably like a 25 dollar uh, robux gift card which will give her a ton of robux so hopefully she can make them last but that is it i hope i gave you guys some fun ideas if you have a little kids um either birthday parties you're going to and you're looking for some good ideas or you have little ones in your life that are about to get older or you're looking for some fun easter ideas i hope that these um give you some inspiration so thank you guys so much for watching like i said i will have everything linked for you below um i hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the spring season i know it's not a officially spring i know a lot of us are still stuck with this crazy up and down weather and some of us are going through like snowstorms and blizzards and others it's like 80 something degrees but i hope that you guys are staying safe and that you are finding some joy um in the start of the spring season whatever that may look like for you and i will see you guys all very soon bye guys